So you just come home from buying a brand new LCD, a monitor. I mean, it was about time you got rid of that old 17 inch CRT, but what's this? You open it up and there's no VGA connector. What are these other connectors? What do they do? This is another episode of What's the Difference? DVI versus HDMI versus DisplayPort Refresher Edition. Because Jack wrote this whole script before realizing I made this video four years ago. It was four years ago! With up to four terabytes of massive storage capacity combined with SSD-like performance, Seagate's solid-state hybrid drives are the fastest way to have it all. All right, so guys, for those of you who did watch the older video where we covered all these different display connectors, yes, we've done it before, but yes, it was four years ago. So you can check that one out by clicking here, but this is more of a what's changed since then follow-up versus trying to retread the same topic that we've already done before. So we'll start with DVI. Okay. Not much has changed in the past four years for DVI, so there's not a whole lot we can say about that. It can still output the same basic resolutions. There's still DVI-I and DVI-D, and you can differentiate between the different types of DVI through the pin layout, so I does analog, D does not. But near the end of 2010, some big industry leaders like Intel and AMD said that they would stop supporting analog and legacy technologies like VGA and DVI starting around 2015. Why? Well, it's because these older technologies have not been keeping pace with other interfaces like HDMI and DisplayPort in terms of new advancements. Next up, we've got HDMI. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. <laughs> That's kind of a dated name now. We should have like um, UDMI for Ultra Definition. Yeah. Anyway, it was first released in 2002 when Ultra HD was a twinkle in the eye of some happy television executive somewhere, and is perhaps now the most widely adopted digital video interface. HDMI carries both audio and video signals, and one thing we didn't cover last time around is that there are a variety of different sizes of HDMI connectors. So depending on the application, you might want full-size HDMI, which is known as Type A for things like TVs and PCs, for devices like tablets and video cameras. Uh, you might want a type C connector, also known as mini HDMI, and moving on to even smaller devices like cell phones and point and shoot cameras, these can be found using micro HDMI, also known as type D. Now there have been many revisions to HDMI throughout the years. Version 1.4 can support a max resolution of 4096 by 2160 at 30 FPS, but 1.4 isn't the most recent anymore, just the most common right now. HDMI 2.0 was actually introduced in Q3 2013, and the main differences here is that 2.0 now supports 4096 by 2160 resolution at 60 frames per second, 32 channels of audio, and has support for 21 by 9 aspect ratios for that movie theater experience. And don't worry, you won't need to buy a new cable for version 2.0 because the hardware on the either on the ends, the actual connectors, are where it's changing, not the cable. Moving on to DisplayPort. DisplayPort, what a confusing name. Why did they call it DisplayPort? They're all display ports if we put a space. But if you have no space, then it's a very, very specific port called DisplayPort. Um, but that doesn't actually mean it only sends video signals either. It can actually use to transmit audio and video at the same time, just like HDMI. Each one is optional and there's some auxiliary data that can be transferred. It can even carry things like Ethernet. Um, and what's cool about DisplayPort is it can be passively or actively converted to other display standards like DVI, even VGA and HDMI quite inexpensively. All right, so what's new with DisplayPort since the last time we talked about it? Well, just like HDMI, there are different revisions of DisplayPort. Version 1.2 saw the addition of Multi-Stream Transport, or MST, which allows multiple displays on a single DisplayPort connector. It requires monitors that are capable of DisplayPort 1.2 daisy chaining, so plugging from one to another, or the use of an MST hub, which I actually have one right here. Hold on just a gosh darn moment here. Look at that. I have a DisplayPort to uh, three HDMI hub. Isn't that fancy? 
All right, in version 1.3 though, DisplayPort is also now able to support resolutions up to 7680 by 14, 430, sorry, not 1430, that would be too much resolution, also known as 8K Ultra HD. And that's pretty much it for this episode of What's the Difference on DVI versus HDMI versus DisplayPort Refresher Edition. Let us know down below what type of connection you're using right now for your PC. And as always, like the video and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. You don't actually have to like the video for more like this from NCIX. Even if you don't press like, we're still going to make more. So it's still nice though.